Welcome guys. In this video, I am going to teach you how to create your signed app bundle. And so this is my sample app and this is how its UI look. So let's close this for now. And let's go to the main activity here. You can see the name of our package is com.pavansing.sample. If your package name is com.example.yourAppName, then you have to change the example keyword from your package name like com.example.yourAppName. If you keep your example keyword in your package name, then the Play Store will not accept it. So you have to change this from here. You can do this in two ways. Now let's see both ways one by one. The first way is when you create your app, you can change the package name that time. So as you can see in this picture, you can change this package name from com dot example dot your app name to com dot whatever your name is or whatever you want to keep it and then your app name. So now if you have already created your project and you did not change your package name. So I am here to help you. I will teach you how to change it after creating the project. So let's start that process. So firstly, go to your view level drop down and from Android view level, go to project files and then go to app, go to source, go to main and then go to Java. Then here you can see here are some packages com.pavansing.sample and if it is com.example.yourAppName then we will have to change it so let's do it so change the name of the second folder here if it is example then go to refactor and rename it from all directories and rename it I will rename it as ps and go to refactor now you will see there are many errors in our project because our package name got changed as this error so for this go to your gradle so let's go back to your android level and now here inside the gradle script go to the gradle module level and inside here you can see our package name is showing com.pavancing.sample and we changed it to ps so also change it here also com.ps.sample now click on sync now so let's wait for some time and let's close all these folders close trouble layout and the error was in our main activity so just drop it and check the main activity here you can see it will say to import the class R and it the error will be gone after the sync is complete. So the project got sync completely. Now check the error. So you can see the error is gone now. Now we can create its bundle. So for this you have to go to the top left corner in the menu. Yeah, click this and go to build again go to menu and go to build Men build and go to here generate signed apk you can see there are two options to build the bundle but you have to go to generate signed a bundle because the second one is for play store so click on the generate android app bundle if you want apk you can click on apk but for play store we need the app bundle so click on above one and go to next here you have to give your path store if you have already created one bundle so for this we will create a new one so click on create new here give the path where you want to store this jks file so i will select the directory where i save all the jks file now click on ok and here you can see the file name and its address now inside the password you have to enter the password by which you will open this file in future 
and you have to confirm that password let's write the wrong password first and you will see it will give an error at the end and if I write here password try to make all the passwords same this is for the key and enter your first name I will write here Pavan Singh an organization unit I don't have any organization so I will write my name here also I will write my name here I will write my city that is Bageshwar and I will enter my state Uttarakhand and then I will give my country code that is 91 and then click on OK you can see it is giving me the error for password not matching so let's correct this password now if I click on OK so now here you can see you can click on remember password for the next time and here you can see then click on next and if you want the bundle for debug you can click on debug I need for release so click on release and create so let's wait for some time till it create our project so it has created our project now if you click on the drop down you can locate it where it saved our project and when I click on locate you can see I can directly find this app with .aab extension and you can also check the date modified of the file so thank you for watching the video and you can support me by giving me super chats and also by joining the membership of my channel so thank you for watching the video guys